friends, Sandy Waggett here. I am the owner of MSW Interactive Designs, a 26-year-old digital marketing agency, and we have really transformed thousands of businesses over the course of 26 years by building marketing strategies that work and drive more leads and help them rank well in Google. Today, I'm here to talk to you about how to build a nurturing funnel for a piece of content. Now, in this case, I actually am going to build one right in front of you. The piece of content happens to be a keynote presentation by a client. And so what's gonna happen is he's gonna deliver a keynote presentation on Wednesday, and he's going to use a QR code and send people to a landing page to download notes from his presentation. And then what we want to do is bring people into a nurturing funnel for keynote speeches and executive coaching around the topic that he's talking about in his keynote. So we want that funnel to be a series of seven to 15 emails around the topic of the keynote. Now, I'm just going to essentially demonstrate how I go about doing this. This funnel does not exist yet. So you can actually mimic my steps and build one for a piece of content of your own. In this case, it happens to be a keynote, but it could be anything else. It could be anything that you have people opt into. So a blog, a white paper, a lead magnet on your website, a YouTube video, anything like that. So let's dive in. Now, my client is Jeff Kozatek. He is a keynote speaker and executive coach. And as I said, he is giving a presentation on Wednesday, a keynote about work-life balance. Now, in this case, I actually do not have notes from the keynote. So he has not shared those with me. So I'm really flying blind. But what I want to do is build a really good nurturing funnel that I know people who would be attending this keynote would be interested in and would be of value to them. So what I've done is I have gone to his website and copied and pasted, or I'm going to copy and paste the summary from his keynote. And I'm going to talk to ChatGPT and have ChatGPT help me develop this nurturing funnel. So I'm gonna share my screen and just walk through the exact steps. And give me one second, here we go. All right, so I got ChatGPT up. Now notice up here in the upper left, it says Core Authenticity Custom GPT. I have actually already pre-trained uh, this custom GPT around Jeff's approach, some of Jeff's content. Do you know that it, your results might be a little different because this comes essentially pre-programmed with stuff about Jeff and his take on things. I am going to go over to his website and show you what I did. So here's his keynote page. So I went down to the one he's giving, which is this one, Work-Life Balance, the circus. So I'm going to copy and paste this, and I'm going to come back over to ChatGPT. And I'm going to say, I need to develop a nurturing funnel, a nurturing email funnel. Now notice I have some typos in here, and that's okay. Uh, ChatGPT figures it out for a keynote presentation being delivered by Jeff Kozatek. I am going to give you a high level description of the keynote. Let's see, I'm gonna say as a world-class marketer, marketer and content writer, I need your ideas on what we should include in this funnel. Now, I am not asking ChatGPT to write anything yet. I'm using it for ideation. And the reason I start with ideation is because then I can guide ChatGPT to help me come up with the most robust, the most useful, the most valuable content that will ultimately nurture people into no like trust with Jeff Kozatek and then ultimately potentially hire him as an executive coach or refer him as a keynote speaker. So I'm just gonna start here, nothing complex. So I'm just pasting in funnel, uh, not the funnel, the information about the keynote. 
So I'm going to say here's some info about the keynote content. All right, so let's see what it comes back with. Okay, so it's giving me a funnel structure. Email one, intriguing introduction, the juggling act. Email two, the pain of imbalance. Does this sound like you? Email three, transformative takeaways, a sneak peek at the circus. Email four, testimonials and social proof, real stories of impact. Email five, a clear CTA. Okay. Oh, okay. It is just going to town. So it's giving me, are you juggling too much? Let's find your balance. And then the body content, picture a circus performer juggle, juggling flaming torches while walking a tightrope. Does this ever feel like your life? Address the struggle of female CEOs, balancing professional ambition, family obligations, hint at the keynote's unique approach. Want a roadmap? Click here to uh, get Jeff in. The pain of imbalance. Okay. I kind of like this, but what we want to do is really hone it down. I am going to stop it and I'm going to try to rein it in a little bit and be like, okay, so the people who will receive the emails in the funnel already will have sat through the presentation and then scanned a QR code to get the notes. This will then put them in the funnel. We want to provide immense value along this subject matter, enhanced and deeper content basically. So that's what we're trying to do while leveraging Jeff's expertise and positioning him to potentially be their executive coach or do another keynote for someone they know. We don't want these to be salesy. We want true value in an email form that they appreciate, might share, and eventually become a client of Jeff's. Okay, so let's see what it comes back and says. So I've told it what I really want to happen. Okay, so now since the audience already attended, it's going to revise. Thank you for attending and bonus insights. Grateful to have you in the circus. Here's what's next. Okay, like that. You took a step toward balance. Let's go even deeper. Start with the gratitude. Great brief recap. Bonus content. Include an exclusive tip or exercise not shared. Okay. Love that. Find an anchor in finding your anchor in a sea of chaos. What's your cornerstone? Let's find out. Okay. So open with relatable hook. The hidden weights you're carrying. What's weighing you down? Okay, see, these are really good because what they're doing now is providing ongoing value in the context of what he delivered. Notice, I don't have his keynote, but it's about work-life balance for executives. And so these emails for people who attended that could be super valuable. A deeper dive with Jeff, where you go from here. So email number five, then it's giving me some additional stuff. Make the emails easy to share, engage with questions, include links to the content. Okay, so I actually do really like this. I probably am gonna want more emails, but I think doing five emails with five of them 
or four of them providing value, and then essentially one ask, where will we go from here? And then what we can do is build another follow-on funnel. So did they, in other words, click through, when, once they get to email five, did they click through and learn about how to do a deeper dive or didn't they? And then we can tag them accordingly and then uh, push content out in two separate directions based on their level of interest. In the interest of time, I'm just going to show you, we're going to do two of the emails together, and then I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to finish the uh, project. Let's just start. I like these five ideas. Now, I love the idea of thank you for attending plus bonus insights, because it starts with a gratitude and then gives some bonus information, and they'll get this fresh off the presentation. So the open rate will likely be pretty good. So I'm going to say, okay, email one. So I'm going to say, oh, great. Let's start with email number one. With email number one. Show me the best of what you've got. <laughs> so I'm going to have it just do it for now. And then I'm going to guide it after that. I want to see what it comes up with. All right, email one. Thank you for attending plus bonus highlights. Uh, subject line, thanks for joining the circus. Let's take it further. You took the first step toward work-life balance. Here's how to keep the momentum going. Love it. All right. Hi, first name. Thank you for being part of the circus. It was an honor to share the stage with you and explore the art of balancing work, life, and everything in between. The fact that you scan the QR code tells me one thing. You're serious about living with more purpose, energy, and alignment. That's a huge first step, and I'm here to help you keep moving forward. This is really good. I love the fact that the AI knows that in order to even get in this funnel in the first place, they had to have scanned the QR code at the end of the presentation to get the session notes. So it's pulling it back in and reminding them that they actually engaged and that's why they're getting this email. So in case one of the big ideas from the keynote slipped through the cracks of a busy day, here's a quick refresher. Balance begins with clarity. When you identify your cornerstone, the unshakable foundation that guides your decisions, you start to align your actions with your true priorities. But theory isn't enough, so here's a little bonus for you. And now here's the simple exercise to clarify your cornerstone. Take five minutes today to answer these questions. What truly matters to me most, professionally, personally, and relationally? And am I living in alignment with those priorities? If not, what's standing in the way? Number two, write down one small adjustment you can make this week to honor what matters most. This simple reflection is where clarity begins and clarity is the first step toward balance. And then looking ahead over the next few weeks, I will send you additional insights, exercises, and strategies to help you go deeper into what we covered during the keynote. These emails will be packed with value, no fluff. If at any point you have questions, an aha moment or challenge, just hit reply. I would love to hear from you. I love that because he's asking them to reply. So it's another way to generate engagement. Here's to thriving in all areas of your life without burnout. Warmly, Jeff. P.S. Have someone in your life who's juggling too much? Feel free to forward this email to them. After all, we're all in the circus together. Okay. I think this email is actually quite perfect. And a lot of it probably has to do with the pre-trained pre GPT. And I did make a video on how we pre-train our GPTs. So just go to the channel and look for that video and we'll show you exactly how we do this. So now I'm going to say that is perfect. I'm going to give it positive feedback because I want it to continue in that way. I don't really want it to go off into another mode. I'm like, okay, this is really great. Let's do email two. Let's see what it comes up with. Hopefully it's just as good, if not better. All right, email two, finding your anchor in a sea of chaos. What's your cornerstone? Let's find out. Okay, hi, first name. Does life ever feel like a whirlwind? Too many demands, not enough time and a million things pulling you in different directions. Oh, of course it does. It does for all of us. It's no wonder we feel off balance sometimes. During the circus, so again, he's tying it back to the keynote that they sat through. We talked about the importance of identifying your cornerstone, that unshakable foundation that helps you make decisions with clarity and confidence. Let's go a little deeper into that today. Now, why your cornerstone matters. I like this. 
Uh, so he goes into that saying yes or no becomes easier. You free up your energy and balance stops being a juggling act. And then he gives a mini exercise, find your cornerstone. So set aside five to 10 minutes today for this quick activity, reflect on your values, create a guiding statement, put it into practice. And then a quick story. One of my coaching clients, a CEO leading a multi-million dollar company once told me, I feel like I'm always on, but I'm not sure if I'm going in the right direction. Together, we worked on uncovering her cornerstone, her personal why. Once she defined it, she realized she was spending too much energy on tasks that didn't align with her values. By making small adjustments, she regained clarity, focus, and balance in both her professional and personal life. That's the power of knowing your anchor. And then let's keep this momentum going. I love it. So they know that there's something coming next. How did this exercise resonate with you? Did anything surprise you? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Just hit reply. This is so good. In the next email, I'll share more about the hidden weights that might be pulling you out of balance and how to lighten the load. Here's to a life that feels aligned and full of purpose. Okay, so now I want to point out that it did say a quick story and then there's a story in there. Now, how does it know that that story exists in uh, Jeff's coaching realm? It doesn't, it's made it up. And here's what I do with those. I love the fact that ChatGPT inserted a story. This is where the human element comes in. And this is where you really elevate your content that ChatGPT helps you produce. I'm going to take these two emails. I'm going to finish all five, but I'm going to take these two emails and I'm going to go put it in high level, go high level, which is the CRM. Uh, ours is co-branded. It's called Grow360, but it's high level. I'm going to put this in and build the funnel for him with these emails. And then I'm going to say, Jeff, the emails are ready for you to review. Go in and on email number two in the funnel, there's a story. Please go in and read the story and adjust it. Make modifications based on a real story or similar story in your coaching practice that will resonate in this email. So he can go in and add his own story or his take on this. This is generic enough that it could be true in just about any coaching practice, but he can go in and personalize it more for his stuff. So hopefully you can see how leveraging ChatGPT to help you build nurturing funnels can really expedite the process, make it super easy, highly effective, and take some weight and time off of your shoulders as a business owner or a marketing director, someone who's actually producing this stuff. So until next time, check out one of the videos that's showing on the side. I teach this stuff as I do it for clients so that you can see exactly how it's done. You experience the challenges and the hurdles that come up along the way, just like I do. And hopefully that coaching and guidance helps make you a better marketer in your own business. Sandy Waggett signing off until next time.